Mark Twain wrote about yes. this, about uh, uh, what happened here. And we're talking about the 18th century when he uh, yes. wrote about it. And see, uh, see, one important thing is there are many, many aspects to it. People also came here for health. See, it is... Uh, there have been scientists in 1896, a British uh, biologist came here and studied and he said, there are bacteriophages in Ganga water especially, which specifically eat certain kind of bacteria. And they found particularly the cholera bacteria, which was cholera was rampant everywhere, but on the Ganga banks they found it would not take such, such a toll as it was taking elsewhere. When they checked it, they found there are specific bacteriophages which eat only cholera, cholera bacteria. Yes, see they won't eat anything else. And how this is happening, this is conjecture, nobody really knows this, why they are here. They are there in many rivers, but here there are many more like that. Bacterias are eaten up. So this is why the water remains fresh. Ganga gel, you take it and keep it in your home, it remains fresh for years. People keep it, where, you know, when they're young, they take it and when the moment of death comes, they want Ganga gel. They kept it there and it stayed fresh. When the British were sailing, when they realized this, always the British ships were loaded with Ganga gel. Because for the three-month journey, that was the only thing which would remain fresh. Otherwise, after a month, they'll be drinking dank water. So, they had Ganga gel. When Akbar went on military expeditions, sometimes which lasted eight to twelve months, for his personal use, he took only Ganga gel. So, you're saying the Mughals, the British... It doesn't matter who, anybody who was smart enough, 